Click the link on the description, it'll bring you to a download link where you guys can download the template. From there, just go ahead and open up the Cinema 4D product file, and you guys should get graded to something like this. Now once you open it up, what you guys need to do is right away go ahead and download my Material Pack V3. That is also linked in the description. And go ahead and install the materials. Now once you guys install the materials, go ahead and just open up the null and open up the text. From here, just go ahead and hold and click one of the text and hold shift and it will multi-select the text and just go ahead and change the name. For me, I'm going to do name like this with an exclamation point and then go ahead and just click off. And then from here, we can go ahead and change the font as well. So go ahead and click font. And if you guys want to change the font, you guys can change the font. But I'm going to be using Cunia. I'll leave Cunia in the description as well for you guys to download. So once you guys go ahead and change the text, you guys can go ahead and change the materials of the text in the other objects. So to do that, go ahead and drag any material. Let's say you want this blue one. Go ahead and just drag it and replace it onto the red one. Make sure the arrow is pointing down when you do this and let go and it will change it. And just like that, you guys can go ahead and go to the cubes as well and change the cubes. So for example, I'm gonna be dragging the blue onto the cubes just like this. And just like that, you guys can change the color. Now, if we click this button right here, we can go ahead and render it out to preview. So this is what it is looking like. Now you guys can also change the color of the other, the iron material as well. So like, for example, if you wanna do black, you guys can just go ahead and drag it on like so. And for the splines, you guys can go ahead and just drag it on like that and render this out and this is what that is looking like. Now I'm going to hit Control z just to bring back the original colors just like this. Now one thing I would also like to mention is that the spline is animated so if you guys put the frame to zero and you, if you guys click play you guys will get a spline animation that is because I animated these splines um, and the reason I did that is so you guys can get different looks um, if you guys want like you know, a different position of the spline. So like, uh, like for example, you could drag it like right here and like if you guys like the splines like this, you guys can go ahead and render it out like this. You guys just get multiple frames to choose from. And also, like I'm gonna be sticking to frame 52 because this one is my favorite. You guys can also go ahead and click the splines and click the rotation tool up here and rotate it as well. So you guys can get some different angles, um, just like that, something like that. But I'm going to leave it how it was before and the same thing goes with the cubes so you guys can go ahead click the cubes and rotate them as well and rotate the other cubes as well so that's basically how to customize the banner template or at least 3d part in cinema 4d now from here we're basically done with the 3d part so just go ahead and click this gear icon go ahead and click save and choose and click these three dots and just choose a destination to save your render um, and as well as a name. So I'm just going to name this banner template 10 tutorial and I click save and do not worry the render settings are the same because they come with a Lightroom. So from here just go ahead and close the settings out. Now just go ahead and click this button and it will start to render. So that took about five seconds to render. It might take a little bit longer for you but we are now done with the cinema 40 aspect of this tutorial. Now what you guys want to do is open up Photoshop and I'll see you guys in Photoshop. So once you guys open up the banner template in Photoshop, you guys should see something like this. Now right away what you guys want to do is go to the render, just click on the render and do not delete it just yet because we are going to be using it to center um, our render. I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second. So go ahead and go to file and go to open and go ahead and navigate to wherever you saved your renders. Now I'm going to open up the render that we just made and go ahead and click open. Now from here, just go ahead and drag the render into the banner template like so and make sure that it is above the render um, but below the smoke. So from here, you go ahead and click Control T or Command T if you're on Mac and just go ahead and size this down. Now there is a chance that you might need to hold Shift depending on what version of Photoshop you have to make this proportional. But for me, I don't. Um, I'm using CC 2019, um, but realistically, you guys can use any version that you guys want to. I'm just saying that um, if it doesn't, if it scales like this or something like this, then you need to hold shift and it will scale proportionally. I'm just going to cancel that. Uh, but yeah, so just go ahead and make sure it scales down proportionately and now what we can go ahead and do is hide the render and 
basically we just actually we can go ahead and delete the render but the only reason i didn't delete it is because i wanted to make sure to line it up with the render that was in the banner template so what i like to do is i like to place one of the letters on the crystal as you guys can see i used the a here um, but you guys can go ahead and place whatever uh, letter you guys want to on that crystal or just move the crystals around uh, but yeah so from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to name this render render and go ahead and hit Control j or command j if you guys are on mac and go ahead and click the one that says render the one on the bottom and go to filter and go to blur and go to gaussian blur and go ahead and click ok um, make sure it was set to 5 pixels by the way, I forgot to mention that, but what this does is it adds like a little bit of a blur uh, behind your render, and what we're going to do is hit Control J once more on the blurred one, and bring it above the render, so now we have a blurred one on the top and on the bottom. Now what we want to do is go to the blurred one on the top, and set the blending mode to screen, put the opacity down to 30%. Now what this will do is it will just add um, a little bit of a blur, but it's more of a glow, as you guys can see, it just kind of makes it pop a little bit more. Um, and once more, we're going to take the middle render and hit Ctrl J, and make sure you're on the bottom render, but like the, the one that's not blurred, so this one is blurred, the top one is blurred, and then these two are normal. You guys want to make sure you guys get the the one under the, like the main render, and go to Filter and go to distort and then go to ripple and do 330 percent on medium and go ahead and click ok now if you guys zoom in you'll see that you guys get this ripple effect on the render if i hide this you guys can kind of see that you get a little bit of a ripple effect um that just kind of adds to the render and just looks really cool in my opinion so once you guys have all done all four of those, what you guys can do is just hold or uh, click the bottom one, hold shift, click the top one, and hit Control G or Command G on Mac, and this will group it. So then we can name the group render just by double clicking on it and typing in render. Now from here we have our render, and we're basically set to go. Um, but real quick, I would like to show you guys how to move things around and how to change the color if you guys want to because that is something you guys can definitely do. Now go ahead and for example the crystals I adjusted the color a little bit on the crystals now um, for example you guys could go ahead and change the color of the hue on the crystals just like this and you guys can also increase the saturation and the lightness now if you guys go to like for example if you guys want the render changed then what you guys could do is go ahead select everything or actually just go ahead and duplicate the group instead and then just hide the original render and then merge all these layers just by clicking the bottom one hold shift click the top one and then right click and go to merge layers and now from here you guys can hit control u and just change the color just like that and also the saturation or what I would recommend is go to adjustments and get a hue saturation layer and hold alt and then click. Just make sure it is above your render and it is clipped on to your render. And um, basically what this will do is make this adjustment only happen on the render instead of everything else. And just like that you guys can go ahead and change the color of your render. Now you guys can basically do this for literally everything in this banner template. If you guys want to like change the color grading, um, you guys would go down to this bottom one and then control U and you guys can see it's changing a little bit. Um, and then change the color on the other gradients as well, just like this, you guys can see. But yeah, that's just basically how to change the color if you guys want to. Now I'm going to delete the render that I just made. The only reason I made that obviously is to show you guys how to change the color. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this banner tutorial, or this ban banner template, I should say. And lastly, what you guys want to do to save is go to File, and go to Export, and go to Save Web Legacy. And then once it has loaded up, go ahead and click Save. And then go ahead and choose your pictures or wherever you guys want to save it. And then just go ahead and save it wherever you guys would like to. 
and then I'm going to name this Banner Template 10 Tutorial, and then click Save and replace. So that's basically it for the tutorial, guys. If you guys are interested in how to make these, or if you guys want to see more banner templates, I have multiple videos on that. You guys can click the left to watch a random video or click the right to watch my most recent video and then click the top icon to subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. With all that being said, guys, it's been Instinct signing out for now. Peace.